Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at the true size of colossal countries. So before we start, remember to subscribe and just please subscribe. And yeah, let's try to get to 500. That's probably going to be impossible though. Okay, here's Mexico. Um, I just added it right now because why not? So we're going to go from the smallest to the largest. So here we are, we have the Democratic Republic of the Congo, so it's in Africa, so it looks pretty small here. Like, if we just compare it to Mexico, like, what do you think, oh, oh, oh actually, no, better example with the United States, like, it looks like maybe it would just do from Ohio to Alabama, but if we actually bring it across, then we can actually see the r real it doesn't just do that, it's much bigger. So look at this panhandle over here the on the left side. You can see it goes it's, it's really big the panhandle. Like compared to Oklahoma's, it's literally just a little. Okay, then next we have Algeria. Also if you want to write have Cuba, uh I literally just put the USA and just put Cuba. Okay, then next we have Algeria. And of course, before we get to Algeria, of course, let's just put in Europe. Europe is minuscule, as you can see. Just look at this. Okay, also Algeria is the largest country in Africa, as it says here. So we can just bring it up. Oopsies, I just got rid of Algeria. Let's just bring Algeria back. Algeria is here. And the reason, like... Algeria is the 10th largest, and that's not really much, and then it's the Democratic Republic of the Congo. It's like nothing compared to, like, Brazil. It's like because there's a lot of countries in Africa. It's, it's 56, I think. It depends if you can count Western Sahara or Somaliland, maybe even. That would be an extra one. But if we just in put up Algeria, you see, Algeria is slightly larger. I can see this part, and Democratic Republic of Congo does go a bit on the outer sides, but Algeria is slightly larger if we just look at the size. Oh, why doesn't it have the size? Whereas here's Iceland, here's the United States if you look really closely, Kazakhstan, and yeah. So let's just put it here. Now let's put it in the United States. Actually, no, I have a better idea for that. Let's put it in the... Nautics and Democratic Republic of the Congo next. So I'm not really going to put that much in order. I don't think even Argentina is even on the list. Um, on top 10 at least. So if we just bring Argentina. Yeah, it's, actually it is larger. Hmm, I guess it's maybe not on there. Okay, Argentina is actually pretty long. So Chile and Argentina. Chile is slightly longer. But Argentina is still pretty long, and they're almost the same, but Argentina is much thicker, as you can see. Just even look compared to Africa, if we go to the United States, and then if we just bring it here, just look at that. Look how large Argentina is. We can go from, this is the Hudson Bay, to Mexico. That's how large Argentina is. And next we have Russia. Russia, if we just bring it down, oh, look how massive Russia is. This is compared to North Africa. So you can see, like, North Africa doesn't look that big compared to Russia. But you can see it's actually pretty, um, pretty similar, actually. But just still, Russia is a bit longer. We even, But if we just tilt it the other way, we just use this compass down here. Then if we bring it down... See, it's about um, the same, as you can see. And also this part is going to be Madagascar. So, actually, no, I have a bit of idea for that. Okay, this is Madagascar, and this is just a bit of North Africa. Okay, next we have Indonesia. Now, Indonesia is really long, actually. So, actually, Indonesia is only the 15th, but I still want to include this on the list just look at this look at that look how colossal that is you might say some would say colossal look at that just look at that have you ever seen something that's large look it's longer than the u.s 
longer than Canada, longer than Europe. Just look at this. Maybe, maybe even Russia. Let's see if Russia. And this is it compared to Russia. Just look at this. You can see how large Indonesia is. Uh, the largest archipel archipelagic state in the world by area. Now, and there's a lot of countries on here and a lot of colossal states. So if you just grab the United States and put it here, let's just go down and just put it North Africa. This is in South America, but even might would say, just look at it, Europe. Look at it. So basically the United States is just basically Europe comparatively in size. But um this but well, compared to culture like 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 here, someone in Ukraine, if you went through like let's say if you're going to Ukraine and you went all the way to Scotland on the top of here and you go down the I think there's a canal or what is it called? A channel or something. If you just went here if you went through Moldova you could see how different it is in Moldova and Romania. Hungary, Austria, Germany, France, all those baguettes and croissants. And we have also in England and Scotland. Just, just think about that trip. Look how many cultures we're going through. The US would be, it would be Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola. Literally just, it's very plain comparatively. And yeah, and let's just get rid of some colossal states. So we um, let's let's just get rid of a few so we can go from the real colossalism. Now France is effective control. Well, what does it say? Mainland, okay. But what is it? However, Clipperton Island, France is effective. Oh, so I think Mexico. And um, claims in either that also France claims. Oh, come on, give it to Mexico. Oh, come on, an island here. And this is obviously for Mexico. Or maybe for... Mm, okay, okay, that's enough, that's enough. Okay, yeah, this is Iceland. Goes to Russia. And you can see just how massive Mexico is as well. And we can just put in Russia. Just look at this. I, I think this will be the best one. Or maybe... Maybe this one's the best one. No, I think this one's the best one. Okay, then now we only have a few more. We have Brazil. The largest country in the south. Uh, south. So, like, most countries are in the north, but only... I think only one continent is fully uh, under this line. It's... Uh, I think it's Oceania? No, but Palau. There's some island, you know. I just thought, but technically, Australia is just all in the continent, so that's... Oh, why does this always happen? Australia, also if you want to go to this website, the true size of, also the reason that is, is because the top is, this is a Mercator projection, and the Mercator projection uh, makes the sides, makes the poles a lot bigger than they are, and keeps the equator the same how it would be, on a globe, so if we just grab Australia, see, it fully covers the Mediterranean. Also, we can just put it all here. Just see, look how massive this is, even compared to Russia. Like Russia, like this is, I think Russia. Yeah, I don't think even Australia is even half the size of Russia. Oh, Russia is massive. Next is China. China, you see, looks much bigger than you know. They're quite similar. They're quite similar shapes if you think about it. Like this can be Florida. This you can this covers Texas, and it goes around here, and then up here this can just be like New England and Maine and stuff. Hmm, this this is really the shape. And finally India. So just India up here. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe and like the video. And subscribe and bye.